It's been about six weeks since I last done my blog. Um, back down the Syndicate Lake now. The date is 23rd of May, uh, April. And um, the weather's a lot warmer than the last time I was here. Last time I was here, we was getting thick frosts. It was freezing cold. The lake hadn't done a fish in months and months, and it looked pretty bleak. This time, I've been here over, got here yesterday, set up on fish, see a couple of fish. Um, didn't get nothing in the night, but I still feel really confident. Um, I've been back down here once since I've done my blog, and that was at the start of the month. I come down here, I think it was April the 1st. I had a real strong wind blowing, really strong wind, a westerly. And um, a little spot I fish, it's hard for me to get bait out there with a throwing stick, but with a westerly behind me, I come down here, I had a load of 22 millers, uh, which I do like using, I like big baits. And uh, with a stick, I could get two or three of them right out on my spot. Um, I put a load of bait out there, about three or four key of bait. Uh, next morning, I had a take. I had a 31 pound common. Um, also, I lost the fish within 20 odd minutes of that. Uh, locked up on a bar and hook pulled, and I had a good liner, so I was on fish. Funny thing is, I've been so busy, I haven't been back, able to get back down here for two or three weeks. And uh, since then, a few other guys have been down here and there's been a few fish out. And this swim, the one, one where I'd had the 30 common, uh, has been fished quite regular, uh, as, as well as many of the other swims on here. So the fish are a bit wiser this trip, but where it being a bit warmer, I've got a good idea I'm going to have a fish. Still got another light, night left and I'm uh, feeling really confident. Um, one of the things that I've done this trip, it's been a bit of a nightmare to be honest. I got down here yesterday and is I left all my 22 millers in, my, in the car that I got dropped down here in. So I didn't have any bait when I got down here last night, which was a total nightmare uh, considering uh, my plan was it to fish it the same as last trip. It's 80 miles from where I live, so there was no chance of me farming a lift back and getting some bait. So at the moment I'm fishing all three rods on singles out there, which is, it's a joke, but in some ways it's not such a bad thing. Um, there has been quite a lot of bait going in, so I'm happy to sit with singles out there. And over the last couple of years, I have fished this swim quite a lot and I've put a lot of my bait out on them spots out there and I know the fish know it so I'm just hoping that the single's gonna gonna do the trick. It's funny really fishing because sometimes uh, little things happen that can turn a session around. And last year I come down here one session and I forgot my rods which I know sounds ridiculous but I'm so busy. Um, I got down to the lake, I really fancied a swim and I started setting up my gear and I got some of my gear down to, me, to the swim and I realised that my rods I'd left at home. Anyway, I was cursing. I phoned up a friend and he said, drive home, get your rods and go back. And I went, no, I can't. It's too far. I've had enough. You know, things ain't going too well. Anyway, I did. He convinced me. I drove home. When I got back to the lake, the swim I fancied, someone was setting up in it. Anyway, that night I went to a different part of the lake and caught a lovely fish, 36 pound mirror. So you never know what's, what's going to happen in fishing. And hopefully me forgetting me bait's going to catch me a whacker. I've got two rods out there on the, the fateful multi-rig, what I use, with, one of, with our cork ball pop-ups and nutcracker cork ball pop-ups, which you know, are really, really sturdy, the ones I'm using at the moment. They'll stay on there. I know I can leave my baits out there for two or three days at a time, and they'll be sturdy. Um, the other rig that I'm putting out there this trip is a, is a bottom bait rig, and it's got one of those little, um, sort of, to turn the hook over, little plastic tasker thing that goes on the hook, a um, little bit of a weight there to keep it down but mainly I've got one of the nutcracker barrels with a little 12 mil on the top. I don't, there's a lot of weed in this lake and even at the moment there's a lot of shoots of weed out there and I'm a great fan, I've done really really well on pop-ups in here, I've had a lot of fish on pop-ups, most of the fish I've had. Um, I'm just thinking one of my faults for this year was to fish a bait on the bottom and see if I pick up a different fish. There's a few fish in here that I'm really after and uh, I haven't caught them yet. And I'm thinking maybe just, just try one on the bottom and see what it does, you know, see if it makes a difference. Um, and just see how it goes. And it is a good little rig. It will stand up out there nice. The water's cleared up a lot. Last time we'd done the blog down here, the water was 
pea, pea soap, it really was, and it's not like this lake. This lake is normally really clear. Anyway, now it's cleared up a lot, and yesterday was so beautiful walking around here. The water was clear, I could see a few spots glowing and you know shining out. But at the moment, the temperatures are still quite low, and the fish ain't, they're not coming onto the shallows as much as they did last year or the year before. And yesterday I didn't see anything at all in some of the spots where I'd expect to see fish. So I'm fishing a long way out. The only place that I've seen fish, and hopefully I'll, um, I'll get a fish for the cameras and uh, see how it goes. But um, it's been fishing well the lake the last couple of weeks. Done, it's done about eight or nine fish now, the lake, since, it, um, since it's all woke up. So hopefully I'll catch the tenth. Happy days. Go on, Terry. What you call it? Urban. Urban.